into the what that you need. Yeah. She will not automatically become. That is why you are the visionary. That is why you are the leader. Because you have to know what you need. So when you want to identify certain traits in you, you now have to say, okay, okay, I have some stuff I can work with here. And then you now create that wife that suits your needs. What you doing? Amen? So we go keep that right? Now, this is this is something that I have shared. Um, I mean, this is really kind of condensed. Um, but I just want to make give you all some stuff that you're coming with because um, as the next generation, I really look forward to your kids at Canada level. Um, as I said, I mean, I'm not that not like I reach retirement age, but I know what God has deposited in me. I need to pass it on so that the next generation is able to pick it up from there and keep it higher. We get higher. Alright? So we spoke about the young woman being ambitious, strong, and productive. And productive is very important. A young woman who spends her entire day on Facebook is something to be concerned about. <laughs> so you don't read her. You don't watch, you know, like watch clothes, you know. Every 15 minutes you see an update. Hashtag ball. <laughs> Every, every 10 minutes you see a new profile, click on the WhatsApp, new selfie. <laughs> Clearly she don't have much thing to be doing. Alright? She's also kind and generous. Very important um, aspects for a young woman. To be kind and generous. And kindness is not stupid at you. A woman that is kind doesn't mean that she's gullible. It means that she knows when to be full and she knows when to you know, soft. And generous. Verse 24 looks at the, this woman being kind of business oriented. And I like to use the term business acumen. In other words, but let's say you're dating this. So, in a fitness young lady, and let's say for example, um, you say, you hey, go going to get some tea now. Um, you say, well, you can probably have some tea for me as well. You know? She says, well, I have 50 dollars. What are you going to do with that? You say, well, they buy it in a special. Finding a special only for the three persons that best way get that one piece of meat eat, right? <laughs> but if family has sex. <laughs> so who not eat it? <laughs> when you buy that special, right? What I'm looking at is that if that young lady says to you, yeah, well, maybe if you take it to them, you probably go and buy some Chinese, you need to cut up all this one and you can shave them. If I am not young lady, because you might be able to take that young lady and give her $100 and put her in a house, and she can put some food in the kitchen, and she will spend $50 or have the money in penny wise, and give her food for two days. Alright? She is honorable and she is patient. Young mother is a fool, my young woman is a patient. Please. In this day and time where we live in a kind of microwave society where everything is quick, quick, quick. The one you think fast, fast, fast. <laughs> Unless you're dealing with drugs. <laughs> a woman who no patience will try to perform. <laughs> because when you're just sitting here, you're here, what do For this month, we'll do so and so and next month. Do this with the house, and don't do road, do so and so, and 
if that young man can't say here was a sign and standing by a sign and you know you will be listing one brick at a time. Fellas, that young man here happy son, run. For your own good. <laughs> but a young woman who has patience shows us that she has foresight because she's able to see and buy the vision that this young man has and she's able to stand by it and support it. Alright? Well, let me just finish up with this. There's a lot more, but let me just finish up with this. Make sure that she's responsible. And make sure that she's loving. And the love I'm talking about is not when you know you can hear all mushy and you know you're talking long hours on the phone and everybody's sleepy and you know, I love you. I love you more. I love you the most. I love you till infinity. <laughs> but I'm talking about a love that you can see that despite what and comes what means, she is going to be there. Alright? You have to be able to identify that because what could be that mean you may have a long time in your life and things not going to be as you probably had planned. You don't want somebody who's going to walk out on you. You don't want somebody that is going to kick you down for that thing. And you're not going to say, man, and you carry this, and you carry that. No, you don't want that. You don't need that. You want somebody that is going to say, be there and say, hey, yeah, we'll get through this. Yeah? And build up. Now, all of this, as I said at the beginning, is on the premise that we understand that one, we are governed by a different set of principles. And as young men and young women, women of the kingdom, do not be fooled or tricked by the ideas that the world puts for. It's only going to be fair that you It's going to make you want to know why you stand there because you start to say, oh boy, you know, my son might be too high, you know, I just had to bring it down a little bit. But the fella is cute, you know. As the young fella is saying, you know, how do you know good woman again? You know, you know, you know. But because of the fact that what you're looking for are godly principles and precepts that are established in one another as male and as females. The only thing that could happen, and I like to use the analogy of when you have two full cups of water, right? You have two full cups of water. One, one you name one cup male, you name the other one female. And relationship becomes this empty cup. There's no one more to be established. When you take two filled cups of water and you pour it into one empty cup, only one thing can happen. And that is an overflow. If you have two half cups, you have lack because there is nothing more coming out of the relationship than what it could be. That's why it's important as young men and as young, young women that you become complete in yourself as an individual. Enjoy your singleness. Trust me, relationships is pressure. It's fun, but pressure. But maximize your singleness. Maximize your youth. Do the most that you can do outside of getting to really get into a relationship. So that when you become this complete person and you and this individual decide you want to establish or fill up this cup, it can only be an overflow. 
And it's the overflow that comes to you to bless other persons. It comes to you to bless you as the individual and comes to bless the other person as well. Outside of that, you only have one person drawing and milking from the next one. And you always have lack. And I end with this statement. Remember that I said your completeness doesn't happen or come from a young man or a young woman. Your completeness comes from God. So when you are complete in Him, trust Him. Moving forward is this. Enjoy. Amen? God bless you. Thank you all very much. Praise God, praise God. Wonderful work. So, can anybody say what stood out to them tonight? Who we are closer? One thing that we talk about tonight that we're going to carry home is sticking your head. <laughs> 